Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got a bunch of uh, chords inside this uh, circle with the center O, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, point P is uh, our point of uh, tangency. And moreover, this angle uh, BPQ is uh, X. This angle uh, BOP is uh, Y. Finally, this uh, angle uh, PCB is uh, represented by 2x minus 15. And now our task is to find the value of angle x and angle y as well. And we must uh, justify our solution. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle PAB. And now let's recall alternate segment theorem on this uh, triangle uh, PAB, where uh, P is our tangent point. Then uh, this angle is going to be congruent to this angle. And likewise, uh, this angle is going to be congruent to this uh, angle. If I call uh, this angle uh, X, then uh, this angle has got to be X uh, as well. So therefore, we are going to apply this uh, theorem on our uh, problem. If this is our angle uh, X, then uh, this angle uh, PAB is going to be angle X uh, as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus uh, now on this uh, cyclic uh, quadrilateral uh, ABCP. And now you might be wondering uh, what is a cyclic uh, quadrilateral? And here's the definition of a cyclic uh, quadrilateral if all the vertices of the quadrilateral uh, lie on the circle. As you can see in this uh, given uh, diagram, you can see in our case uh, all these uh, vertices A, B, C and uh, P lie on the circle. And furthermore, the opposite angles of a cyclic uh, quadrilateral uh, have a total of uh, angle 180 degrees. In other words, uh, the angle, this angle and this angle, if we add them, we are going to get uh, 180 degrees. And likewise, uh, these two opposite angles, this angle and this angle, if we add them, we are going to get uh, 180 degrees as well. And in our case, uh, these are our two opposite uh, angles in a cyclic uh, quadrilateral. So therefore, uh, some of these uh, two angles must be 180 degrees. Let me go ahead and write down angle X plus the other angle uh, 2x uh, minus uh, 15 must be equal to 180 degrees. Now let's go ahead and combine these uh, like terms. So that's going to give us uh, 3x uh, minus uh, 15 equals to 180. Let's go ahead and add 15 on both sides. This is gone. So therefore 3x turns out to be equal to 100 and uh, 95. Now let's divide both sides by 3. This and this is gone. So therefore our angle X turns out to be 65 degrees. So therefore our this angle X is 65 degrees and likewise this angle X is 65 degrees as well. And here's our final step. Let's focus now on this quadrilateral ABOP. And now let's recall the central angle theorem. According to this theorem, the angle at the center is uh, twice the angle at the circumference. And in our case, uh, this angle Y is our angle at the center, whereas uh, this angle X is uh, our angle at the circumference. So therefore, uh, this angle Y at the center is going to be two times the angle at the circumference. If this is 65, so this is going to be 2 times 65 is going to give us 130 degrees. So therefore we conclude that our angle Y turns out to be 130 degrees. So thus our angle X turns out to be 65 degrees, whereas this angle Y turns out to be 130 degrees. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.